And so what we're going to look at are the different areas forecast for the different bridges. So we have the Bridge of Lions, Palm Valley Bridge, the Butler Boulevard Bridge, the Buckman Bridge, and Wonderwood. These are the most likely bridges to close. Also, the Dames Point will probably close just because of its height, not necessarily because it's going to see the worst of the weather. And so this is Tuesday at 8.30 when we're talking about uh, getting, so tonight at 830, the sun setting, it's, you need to be where you're going to be, uh, home, that sort of a thing. The winds are not too bad at this point. Winds are fine. Uh, winds do start to pick up as we move through the evening hours and we start to see the conditions getting a little bit worse out there we'll actually see the wind speeds picking up not necessarily for sustained winds that's not what we're worried about what we're worried about are those wind gusts and that's what they close bridges for and so by the time 11:30 rolls around we're looking at pretty good conditions bridges sh should still be open by 4:30. now the bridge of lions could be closed at this point we're starting to get wind gusts closer to 30 miles per hour anything from 4:30 to 630. That's the threshold that we see the winds move in that do start to potentially close our coastal bridges. Gusts of up to 36 of Butler and the Palm Valley, Valley Bridge. Notice downtown's just fine early tomorrow morning. It's not comfortable to drive over something getting a 22 mile per hour wind gust, but they don't close the bridges until that 40 mile per hour threshold is closed. And so by 830, we're certainly looking at bridges to the barrier islands, most likely being closed. The Wonderwood's close. The Butler Boulevard is definitely seeing gusts of 40. Palm Valley Bridge, definitely seeing 43 and the Bridge of Lions as well. Now, inland areas, we're still seeing gusts in that 20 mile per hour range. So I think downtown bridges are still open as of 8.30 a.m. By 10 a.m., we're still looking at 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts along our coastline. Downtown's still fine at that point, but we do start to get close to the threshold on the Buckman by 11.30 tomorrow morning. So that's when we could start to see the Buckman potentially closing uh, as we approach that lunch hour. And so then by 1.30, we're still seeing closed bridges along the coastline if we're, if we're following that 40 mile per hour threshold there. And the Dames Point's getting awfully close at this point. So that's something to consider. Downtown's still not crossing that threshold by 2.30. Now the worst of the weather in the early in the mid afternoon hours and so two by 2 30 the winds have changed now and so if you're seeing coastal flooding because of onshore winds by 2 30 the winds change direction and start to head the other way and that will help empty the river out as we move into 3 30 our coastal bridge is still closed we're still looking at okay conditions in town and then our winds do start to recede over inland areas by five o'clock but not really along the coastline until after dark tomorrow night and so we may not see the bridges reopen tomorrow night that go out to the beaches because the wind gusts still in that 39 40 mile per hour range for a lot of those locations so that's what we're expecting in terms of wind gusts as dorian heads this way any changes in the speed forward speed of dorian or track would change this forecast as well